We're getting to the bottom of rampant rumors about clowns. Good evening and thanks for joining us. It's the time of the year when hoaxes and pranks begin to surface. Most recently, people are pranking or panicking rather about social media posts of dangerous clowns sneaking around town. It certainly is the talk. We've taken your calls and received your emails. Tonight, News 10's Lindsay Yates talks to police. Creepy clowns in your neighborhood are the claims as ridiculous as they sound. No, we have not received any calls of clowns or anything to that nature here in Vigo County. Hoaxes are something Sheriff Greg Ewing is familiar with, but wishes he wasn't, especially in the age of social media. Unless it comes from some official's type of source, I would probably be leery whether that's actually true or not. Take a look at this local Facebook post that reads update on clowns. Police are saying to stay inside at night. Turns out this scare is nothing more than a publicity stunt. Police are not issuing clown warnings and the sinister sightings are unreliable. You know, if you see something that's on Facebook, it may be a doctored picture. You know, not everything you see on social media is real. Before you believe everything you see, there is an online tool that can help you verify the authenticity of a photo. Simply go to Google Images, hit the camera button, upload an image, then choose file. Go to where you have the picture saved and then download. Reversed results will show you where else that photo has been published, often proving that it has been duplicated. It's taken away from our primary job of patrolling our neighborhoods and responding to actual emergency calls. The Brazil City Police Department is addressing the rumors on Facebook. Someone's practical joke doesn't have Sheriff Ewing laughing either. So we'll leave you with this final piece of advice. And my suggestion is when you see that on social media, scroll on by. In Vigo County with photojournalist John Tim, Lindsay Yates, News 10. Police have made several arrests after false reports of clown sightings and fake Facebook pages across the country.